I'm here in the Metropolitan Museum of Art for an exhibition titled Ink Art Past as Present in Contemporary China. Traditional ink paintings is one of the oldest forms of Chinese art. Although the ink art tradition has been challenged by new media and practice introduced from the West in the past three decades, painters are using the ink as a way of tracing their roots. Each object in the show fundamentally alters inherited Chinese traditions in some way by responding to, subverting, or reinterpreting traditional idioms. These responses embrace a broad range of media that somehow remain indelibly Chinese. Ink is the uh, medium of choice for Chinese traditional painting, particularly literati painting of the last 1,000 years. And what I see is that the, uh, the aesthetic of ink painting has continued even when artists adopt new mediums like photography or video uh, or change the scale to be much larger than traditional painting formats. Featuring some 70 works by 35 different artists, including Cai Guoqiang, Xu Bing, Gu Wenda, the exhibition is organized thematically into four parts. The written word, new landscape, abstraction, and beyond the brush. We learned that some artists came with experience of ink painting, and others had a lot to learn. So from this work of mine, you can see both the influence of Chinese ink paintings and Western oil paintings. For example, there is no contrast of light and shade in ink painting techniques, but I borrowed this technique and used it in my work. Because I'm totally self-taught, and I don't think I get any influence by the traditional sense, you know, the, the technique or the concept and that kind of things. For sure, I, from the beginning, I just coupling the master work and then study how the, the brush stands and that kind of thing. But later on, I just looking for the possibility of the calligraphy where the, you know, where the, like the extension of the, con, uh, and the tradition. The specific techniques I use in my work are different from the traditional, but the spirit of Chinese washing ink paintings is still there. Traditional ink painting outlines images by drawing lines, leaving large areas of emptiness. In my work, I use empty areas to visualize the divine light. Of course, it took me a lot of time to do that. Through this exhibition, Matt curator Mr. Hearn helps to introduce Western audiences to this traditional Chinese art form with a modern spin. I think that contemporary art is more accessible to Westerners than traditional Chinese art. So I see this as a way for them to open up a whole new world. If they can appreciate contemporary Chinese art, then I'm sure they can also discover new worlds in traditional China. The Matt's Ink Art Exhibition ran through April 2014. For more information from Sinovation English Channel, you can find us online at en.sinovation.net. Reporting for Sinovation Journal, I'm Jane Stone.